Welcome, welcome and thrice welcome and today we're looking at the Throckmorton plot from 1583. So um, you'll start to see a pattern with um, these plots, the Northern Earls, Throckmorton, Ridolfi, Babington and you've got um, yet again a plot that's been organised by the Catholics against Elizabeth. And once again, we've got the Mary Queen of Scots popping up and getting involved. This time her French cousin, the Duke of Guise, um, Guise is a place in France, plotted an, an invasion of England. Unsurprisingly, his plan involved overthrowing Elizabeth and putting his cousin Mary on the throne. Rather unsurprisingly, King Philip II of Spain offered um, to finance the revolt. Um, and um, also rather unsurprisingly, the Pope gave his um, seal of approval. You know, a reminder that the Pope obviously wanted, was unhappy with, 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 with Elizabeth and was happy to support any attempt to remove her from the throne. And Throckmorton, whose um, name the plot um, is taken from, was given the job of communicating between the plotters. So he would carry letters between the plotters and Mary Queen of Scots. Inevitably, uh, the plot fails. And um, once again, we've got um, similarities again that pop up with Sir Francis Walsingham, Elizabeth's Secretary of State, and the, um, the spy master, um, who's, who had like a huge spy network. Um, and he soon found out about the plot in May 1583. Again, you know, as we're looking at the different parts with Ridolfi, Throckmorton and Babington, you will start to see familiarities, similar similar things going on, Catholics involved, Walsingham's involvement, um, and the failure of the, flot, the plot, sorry, and obviously um, Mary Queen of Scots. Um, but in November 1583, papers were found at Throckmorton's house that confirmed his involvement in the conspiracy, and he was later arrested, tortured and he confessed his involvement. Of course, anyone will confess anything under torture. Um, he was finally um, executed in May 1584. As with all of these plots, we're going to be also looking at why they were significant. And this one's no different. So why was the Throckmorton plot important? Why was it significant? And well, it exposed to Elizabeth and told Elizabeth and her advisors that there was a very real threat in England from Catholics. So we're not just talking about the Catholics from abroad, but also Catholics at home in England. And that includes Mary Queen of Scots, who was also, uh, you know, was um, held captive there. Throckmorton cleverly also uh, kept a list of all English Catholics who were against Elizabeth. So this, you know, was a bit of a smoking gun for Elizabeth um, and her um advisors and it was proof that there were people actually out there plotting against her um, and Philip II's backing of from Spain showed that there was a very real threat from abroad which will you know obviously um, manifest itself later on is you know when we're looking at the threat from abroad and the Spanish Armada so this resulted in Catholics in England getting treated with a great deal of suspicion as a result, around about 11,000 were put in prison or kept under house arrest and an Act of Parliament in 1585 made helping or sheltering Catholics punishable by death. Shout out to uh, Josh Johnson and his massive. So we've got um, the Throckmorton prop summarised there. Um, the, next, the next upload will be the plot which followed this, which was Babington.